Hey folks, this is Kalani. With Season 3 of Dragonflight, we have a whole bunch of options for how to get gear. The higher the item level you can get, the more powerful your character is going to be. But the real power spikes are going to come from getting your hands on some tier set gear. Both the 2 set and 4 set bonuses can be huge depending on your class and spec, and they can even completely change up your preferred talent setups. But getting tier gear can be easier said than done, so we're going to go through all the ways you can get your hands on this powerful gear, and the fastest ways to complete your 4 set bonus. Now before we jump in, be sure to hit up that like button and subscribe so you never miss another video. To start with, the most reliable source of tier set gear has to be the Revival Catalyst. Everyone has access to it, so it's not locked behind any specific type of endgame content. The system itself is quite passive, meaning it's not restricted by playtime, and this time around, a lot of different types of gear can be used in the Catalyst. On top of all of that, we get to choose exactly which piece of gear we use in the Catalyst, and therefore which gear slot we fill with that tier set piece. The only two things we need to use the Catalyst are a piece of seasonal gear and a charge. For Season 3 we can use any gear that comes from the raid, from any Mythic Plus dungeon in Season 3, and from rated PvP, as well as the Emerald Dream weekly quests and the New World boss. So a lot of different options, and most importantly some very easily accessible gear for the Outdoor World content players to collect to use in the Catalyst as well. Those three weekly quests that provide gear, the World the Ally Weekly Quest, the Blooming Dream Seeds Quest, and the Super Bloom Event Quest, that's three pieces of gear per week guaranteed that you get to work in the Catalyst, so everyone has a chance to get their tier gear, and then if you're lucky, you might get a fourth piece from the World Boss. As for the charges, that's actually the easy part, we just have to wait. We started with one charge, so everyone can create one tier set piece right now if they choose, and then we'll get one more charge every two weeks. So if this is going to be your only source of tier set gear, it will take you about seven weeks total to get all four pieces created. But we also have quite a few other sources of tier set gear you can chase after. Now before we continue, today's video is sponsored by Jawa.gg. Jawa.gg is a marketplace built by gamers for gamers. You can buy and sell graphics cards, processors, motherboards, pretty much every PC component really, as well as peripherals and accessories, or if you want to take all of the hassle out of building a PC, they also sell pre-built machines at great price points. A great option if you're not comfortable piecing everything together yourself. You can also check out their ultimate TechTuber gift guide. Created by TechTubers, the gift guide was created to help you with your holiday shopping at any budget, and they're also currently running a special giveaway with a chance to win an $1800 gaming PC. Jawa.gg will also directly purchase GPUs, making it a super easy option if you have some spare graphics cards from previous builds, or if you want to use your current GPU to offset the price of a shiny new upgrade. You don't have to go through the trouble of taking pictures, listing and competing with the other sellers. It's great knowing that when the time comes to upgrade, I can use my current GPU to make the jump up to the next generation much cheaper. So if you have some spare PC parts lying around that you want to sell, or you're in the market for some PC upgrades, click the link in the description to check out Jawa.gg today. Now getting back to the video, the next most reliable source of tier set gear is actually an achievement. The Season 3 Master Achievement will reward you with a token that you can trade in for a piece of tier set gear at the Heroic Raid item level. The vendor for this is located at the nearest flight path to the raid entrance in the Emerald Dream Zone. To get the token, you'll either need to clear the raid on Heroic Mode, achieve 2000 Mythic Plus score, or reach Challenger 2 in Rated PvP. Now, none of those are particularly easy, especially in the first week for most players, but it does give you one of the best chances to get tier set gear at a high item level. The easiest and fastest option here is going to depend on you. 2000 Mythic Plus score isn't too high, the raid on Heroic seems tuned fairly lightly, so getting AOTC might not be too bad if you raid fairly frequently, and I'm pretty sure that solo queue rated PvP counts for the Challenger 2 requirement, so if you like to PvP, that might be an option that doesn't rely on you having a committed group. Ultimately, this achievement won't be available for everyone, but if you can push yourself to get one of these requirements done, it's a free piece of high item level gear. 
After that, the next most reliable source is going to be the raid, so we're heading into the raid hoping for some boss drops. Obviously, the higher the difficulty of the raid you can clear, the better the gear drops are going to be, but in addition to that, if you can clear normal and heroic right now, that's more chances to actually get the gear tokens. Tier tokens drop less often when compared to the start of Season 2, you're only guaranteed one tier piece per 20 people in the raid if I remember correctly, so if you run with 10, you aren't even guaranteed to see the tier from what I understand. So the more bosses you kill on more difficulties, the higher chances at getting some tier gear early. Obviously, this isn't going to work for everyone. Doing the raid takes a group and effort, right? Well, not all of the time. Looking for raid is actually already open. In fact, the second wing opened up this week, which gives five LFR bosses to kill for loot. Two of the bosses in the first wing can actually drop tier, and one of the bosses in the second wing can also drop tier, so there are currently three LFR bosses available that can drop tier gear for you, and as the weeks go by, we're just going to get more wings, which means more bosses and more bosses with tier gear. It's also worth noting that LFR gear is better than usual due to the large item level increase from Season 2, so LFR gear starts at item level 441 this time around, and all of it can be upgraded to 463, which puts it at the same item level as your outdoor world content and weekly quests. The key difference is that tier gear can straight up drop in LFR, the same as any other difficulty, so you wouldn't need to use a catalyst charge, so that can help you get your tier set faster. Now the last boss in the raid, Farak, drops tier as well but in a different way. If you kill Farak, you'll have a chance to get a flame warped curio. This is exactly like the achievement token where you can trade it in for a tier piece of your choice. The only difference is the item level. The item level will match the raid difficulty you killed Farak on, but the flexibility of these tokens allows you to pick and choose which gear slot you want, so you can then fill in the gaps super easily. Eventually, Farak will also be available in LFR, so everyone will be able to hop in and have a chance at those Omni tokens. And then the last source of tier set gear is going to be complete look at the draw because it's going to be the weekly vault. Any reward row has a chance to give you a piece of tier set gear, even the PvP row. So whether you're clearing the raid, doing Mythic Plus dungeons, or just sticking to PvP, everyone has a chance to get tier set pieces in their weekly vault. If you want to increase your chances, you want to fill up the vault as much as possible by killing raid bosses, completing dungeons, and if you really want those extra reward options, maybe doing some rated PvP. Personally, I'll be sticking to just raiding and dungeons, as those are the areas of the game that I enjoy the most. Remember that even if you don't get a piece of tier set gear in the vault, it might be worth looking at which gear slots you still don't have a tier set piece for, and focus on that piece of gear. So if you don't have a tier set chest piece, picking a chest piece of your vault might still be a good idea, then when you get another catalyst charge, you can pop that piece of gear into the catalyst and finish up your 4 set bonus. But the real trick to getting your force set quickly is to actually hold on to your catalyst charges and gear and tokens and wait to see what other pieces of tier gear you might come across, especially if you're doing more of these other activities. Because you get to choose which piece of gear you use your charge on and which piece of gear you trade your tokens in for, while other sources are totally random, you're going to want to keep the controllable sources until the last piece or pieces of gear. For example, if you use your Catalyst Charge on a pair of gloves, and then you go into the raid on any difficulty, you might win a tier pair of gloves, and two pieces of the same set doesn't really help you. On the other hand, if you keep your Catalyst Charge and get your Season 3 Master Token, or maybe even win an Omni Token from Farak, you then have a couple of flexible pieces that could turn into anything. So when you head into the raid, or maybe get an item from your Weekly Vault, you can benefit from any tier loot. And then when you have four total set pieces between your actual gear, your tokens, and your Catalyst Charges, you can just spend your tokens and charges on the pieces you're still missing. This is exactly how I got my four set in the first week. I got a pair of gloves from the raid boss that drops them, then I won a Farak token on normal, got the Season 3 Master Achievement token, and then used the Catalyst charge for my last piece. Super simple, but it does require you to be a bit patient with your gear and the sources that you have control over. So as you can see, we actually have quite a few different ways to collect tier set gear in the new patch, and it's more widely available than it's ever been. And I think most folks will be able to complete their 4 set bonus faster than in previous seasons, no matter what kinds of content you take part in. 
The solo players have more sources than before, we'll get a total of 4 charges sooner than usual, and we have so many achievement and flexible ways to fill in the gaps. But that's all of the options for how to complete your 4 set tier bonus as quickly as possible, so that's it for this video. How many pieces of your set do you currently have, and how long do you think it will take you until you have your 4 set? Do you think that's too long, or do you think maybe we can get our 4 set a bit too fast this season? Leave all your thoughts in the comments section below. A big thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon and all of our members here on YouTube. You can see the names floating by on screen. If you'd like to add your name at the end of every video with a special shout out at the start of the next video, you can find links in the description over to Patreon or click the join button just below this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss another video. Thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always I will see you next time.